warning, brutal content. <laughs> You guys talking about the new Todd Phillips Joker movie? Yes. Kind of, yeah. We were talking it's about gonna suck. Willem Dafoe. Why? Because uh, Todd Phillips sucks at sequels. Didn't you see The Hangover 2? Yeah, but that's so different from The Joker that like, I don't know if I would compare the two. I'm just saying, like, Todd Phillips, honestly, Joker was good, but like... Mm. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. We, If, you know, you go back to... That's like episode four, yeah. I think. Where we talk about that f- four or five, maybe three, yeah. maybe two, maybe one. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. it was a cool, different take on the Joker. No, I liked it for sure. And I thought it was a dope movie and stuff like that. But <sighs> I don't need there to be another one, you know? I agree with that. Yep. There doesn't need to be a I sequel. Agree. But now that they're doing it, if it comes out good, then I'm all here for it. Oh, well, yeah, if it comes out good. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to shit on it until I see it. I'm just not getting my hopes up, is what I'm saying. I'm not like, yeah, this is gonna be a fucking sick movie until I see otherwise. I actually do. <laughs> I actually do think it will be because for like one reason and one reason only, Joaquin Phoenix is immensely selective about the films he does and the quantity that he does, which is not a lot. So if there's something in the script that intrigued him enough for him to willingly come back, that makes me interested in like what is the movie about that made Joaquin Phoenix want to come back. But what if the something is just a big old paycheck for that sequel? He's not he, he's not that kind of an actor. That's like saying that with Daniel Day Lewis. Those kinds of actors are there for like He's truly like an, he's artist. an artist. He's yeah, yeah, exactly. God, like Joaquin yeah. Phoenix just like seriously just look at his like filmography like he's there. He's one of the few actors that are there for the art of it. None of his movies are blockbuster ground, you know what I mean? Like they're all pretty Gladiator, though, right? He was yeah, the villain that was, in Gladiator. That was old, and he was young. I'm talking about like like her. The and master. Gladiator was sick. And Gladiator was sick. That's Ridley Scott. Her, the master, hurt, or was the Johnny Cash one? Oh yeah, walk like, the you know, line. Johnny he, Cash one was he, great. He just strikes walk me as one line. of the actors that yeah, walk the line. He just strikes me as one of the actors that is really not in it for the paycheck. Gotcha. Whereas like The Rock. Oh, is definitely <laughs> in it for the paycheck. The Rock will do <laughs> anything for a paycheck. Dude, The Rock is the highest grossing actor out there. That's like a fact. <laughs> so I I, uh, I was talking to someone because I think I had mentioned to you guys in another episode that like supposedly, and it's probably actually really true after talking to this one guy, that contractually, The Rock's not allowed to lose fights in movies. <laughs> and I thought it was like an ego thing. And like, I guess to a degree it is, but it's also just like a brand thing, like his brand in particular. I the bet Rock. he was kind of like that at WWE as well, where he was like, exactly. oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not losing. Like, don't you, you know, like a lot of wrestlers, that's like a wrestling mentality. It's also like, yeah, but it's also like an on brand thing. Like no one, and it, and it, I was telling somebody about this and he was like, well, think about once upon a time in Hollywood, the moment, Leonardo DiCaprio's character starts doing those shitty cowboy movies and getting his ass kicked. His star fell. And like, that's the same, like the rock who's at the top height of his career. You don't want to see him lose a fight on screen. So it it makes sense. Also, uh, I mean, it's kind of like how for the longest time, Bruce Willis would, could only die in a movie if it was his choice, his character's choice to die. Mm. Oh, really? That was like one of like like the only examples are Armageddon, Armageddon. chooses to die. <laughs> Sin City chooses to die. That's true. <laughs> I didn't know that. I honestly don't know if that's in a in his contracts yeah. at all. I just <laughs> no. know that as somebody who's seen a lot of Bruce Willis movies, it's just like a Hollywood thing with The Rock not wanting to lose fights. It makes sense. 
Anthony, you're laughing. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> accept the realities of the biz, my friend. Otherwise, it's just you're so be funny. For it's just an so funny. Like, rude awakening. Like the Rock is gonna be like in Shazam three, and he's gonna be like, "You can't beat me. I can't lose in this movie." I mean, I even in the something. comics, like when Black Adam loses, he's never like dead and down and out. He always comes back. He's literally the dictator of conduct right now. He's his own country. What did you guys think about that trailer? By the way, I liked it. <sighs> I still haven't watched it, <sighs> dude. I've been busy. The only thing I didn't like was his lack of an accent. He's not. It's The Rock as Black Adam. Yeah. He doesn't have an Egyptian accent or anything. Dude, The Rock is just The Rock. Yeah, The Rock can only ever be The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like Black Adam is The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I uh, as long I, I don't care as long as The Rock keeps on putting out quality movies like Jungle Cruise, then <laughs> I'm gonna. That movie's it. good. What are you talking about? Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's Jungle Cruise. <laughs> Dude, I didn't watch it's it. it's like surprisingly like yeah. good. <laughs> Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle wasn't so bad that that first one with him. It, I was Most like, of wow, his the movies Disney's are not yeah. really that bad. Like Rampage sucks, of course, but like. I don't know. I don't Geo think he's Storm? like the Geostorm is sick. I actually didn't see that. Geo. Do you mean San no, Andreas? Yeah, that's the one. Whichever <laughs> one, whichever <laughs> environment one, The Rock was like, yeah. I need to save the world. I need to Not tackle the environment to- now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix <laughs> fix this climate crisis with my fists. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I uh, I don't know. I fuck with The Rock. Wait, did you say fix the climate crisis with your fist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's you know, with The Rock. That, that, the, yeah, The Rock does that, but Superman uses communism, actually, to do that. He, he used communism Ooh. to stop Superman, Red Sun. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Wasn't the best segue, but we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. yeah we'll, we'll give it to you, pal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I tried. I thought you were going to be like, like, yeah, you know, like... To, to combat like solar flares, and it's like you know what? Oh, I don't know. It's something with sun, <laughs> and solar. Yeah. yeah. See, that's our brand. Is terrible segue. Yes. <laughs> so, welcome to Comics and Chronic, everyone. I'm Jake F H. As always, you already know who's with me: Anthony, Cody, Superman, Red Sun, Communism. You guys are the commies. This is the Working Man's Podcast. Everyone knows that the Working Man's Podcast. Everyone says that. Everyone knows that. Today we are talking Superman Red Sun, which is actually, I think, a really good Superman comic. And I love his costume, to be honest. I love that he has the hammer and sickle instead of the S. Yeah. yeah. It works. Yeah. Sick. I have two two of those figures, two of those Soviet Superman figures. The Batman and the Superman? Yeah. Well, I have two Superman ones, two different ones. Oh, yeah. I thought, you were, okay. But I do have the Batman. I have a Batman and a Wonder Woman one also. Nice. I like that Batman's nice. a terrorist in this one. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, he legit is. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's almost caused by Superman. He's uh, the dude that Piotr, 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 whatever his Peter. name is. Peter. Peter. Is it Peter? Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, yeah, that's what it translates to. Mm. Piotr. <laughs> Peter, that's basically his Joe Chill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Chill. <laughs> Who is also Stalin's illegitimate child. Well, I guess we should actually explain this one a little bit. <laughs> before. Anthony, you want to take this? Take oh, this I'm away, taking the Red Sun one. Right yeah. After my terrible segue, you're trusting me with hey, this we, part? We got to lean into it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Also, you need to redeem yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is your yeah, you're, right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> 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 All right, Superman Red Sun. It's from 2003. It's another Mark Miller comic. He wrote it. The artist is Dave Johnson. I think there's, is there more than one artist? Is it the same artist throughout every issue? It's three issues, but it's like, it's longer. It's three like the issue. size. Three long issues. Kind of like how year one, Batman year one was a bit, it's was like four issues, but they're like longer issues. All right. A fun fact about this comic, actually, is that Mark Miller started writing it in 1995, but it came out in 2003. So he was working on this for a really long time. 
That's crazy. Yeah, I guess yeah. he was, it was. There was like rumors about it, is that, and everyone's like, "Oh, when are you doing the Superman like Russia story?" Right. So like this story is just in Elseworlds, right? In DC, Elseworlds mm-hmm. is their version of What If? How how Marvel has What If? DC has Elseworlds, and and it's basically like What If? Superman's rocket crashed instead of in Kansas. It crashes actually in the Ukraine. And the the Russian government, Stalin, finds out about him and he becomes the Russian government's Superman. And everything follows from that. Yeah. What's his what's his Superman name? It's still Superman. Yeah, his is name it? is still oh, Superman, okay. yeah. I mean, they, like, it? it's not the kind of comic where, like, even though it's it takes place in Russia, everyone is speaking Russian when they're in Russia, and presumably, I mean, Superman definitely is, but, yeah. like, it never, like, is using Russian language, really. Like, yeah, so they never even do anything where it's, like, they give him the Russian equivalent of Superman, and then we know that it's super. You know yes. what I mean? They just call him Superman. Yeah, yeah. Dude, what a cool comic. Somehow the art, we were talking about the artist. I feel like somehow the art just really, for some reason, feels Russian, like like a Russian cop. You know what I mean? Like it's really angular. Mm, like the propaganda posters. Yeah, it does, exactly. yeah, Every panel looks like a propaganda poster. And I agree with you, Cody. It's It's super angular and like blocky you know what i mean yeah like it's very like rigid i mean the art is great but like it's not no, it's like, fantastic the most, like even. De- it's not like the crazy detailed it's pretty just like you know what you see is what you get type of yeah, yeah. although in the first issue at least there's one panel and lex luther looks like sean connery exactly <laughs> that's hilarious it's like oh that's sean connery <laughs> but he never looks like that in, in any sure other part, you know. And anyway, he starts to lose his hair because he's Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's a a, a a Superman trope is that Lex Luthor has to lose his hair and it drives him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it drives him nuts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, hilarious. Dude. I mean, his whole his whole motivation in this one is is so he makes a Bizarro Superman. Or he calls it Superman too, but we know it's Bizarro. Yeah, it's one know. of those things those where it's like they're know. not calling it Bizarro at first, but we know but it's, it's Bizarro. But it's Bizarro. Yeah. Yeah. And he apparently, they don't show this, but he apparently beats Lex Luthor at chess, which means Superman is capable of beating Luthor at chess. And so Lois is talking, to, they're having an argument. So in this universe, he's married to Lois, Lois Lane. She's Lois Luthor. Lois and uh, it's a nightmare. And um, Lex Luthor was having an argument with Lois, and he and he says she's like, "Oh, like, are you really like this obsessed with like Superman or whatever?" He's like, "I'm obsessed because she's like, you're obsessed because he beat you at this." He's like, "No, I'm obsessed just because because Bizarro beat me at chess. Like now I just have to beat Superman at everything. Mm, like it's yeah. like so it's just like Lex Luthor is always like so obsessive about his like quest to beat Superman, and in this one, it's like." goes to the ultimate level in such insane a insane way like uh, he, the end he, of the comic is so insane you don't expect what happens at the end but yeah he's a man i'm not gonna jump that far yeah, yeah. no it's crazy um i love and i love that in this one he even is like i feel like if superman would have landed in the u.s we could have we would have been great friends and allies yeah which you know it couldn't be further from the truth right exactly but yeah uh this luther was like just Luther is and always will be Superman's greatest foil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and and I love the way like you're rooting for Luther in this one, weirdly. Like sometimes, like, I don't know. I I, I like it's hard it's to a, hate Luther the all the American time. American propaganda in you. You're yeah. rooting for America. <laughs> and, oh no, yeah. I fell for it. Like in the beginning of the comic, <laughs> the way the Russians describe Superman, and then like you see like even Martha Kent, like, oh, Superman, like, uh, you know, that that alien yeah. better not come here. It's yeah, just like, yeah. yeah, like, what is all this bullshit propaganda about Superman? Even though he, we would literally, like, the real Superman is literally, like, truth, justice, the American way, you know? Yeah. We don't see it as propaganda. What would, but- what would, this, what would the Soviet Union mantra of Superman be? If it's truth, justice, and the American way for the U.S., I wonder what it would be for, like, Soviet Russia. Strength, power, yeah, for community. Strength, power, <laughs> and community. <laughs> 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 God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was a slow burn for you, Jake. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool comic. It's one of like because people complain so much that Superman doesn't have any cool stories because he's such a Boy Scout and blah blah blah. But like, it's just like shows like when done right, the Superman comic is really good. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Superman's a mo- a uh, monster kind. Yeah, of. you can like do. He's, yeah. yeah, he's. Lo- I wouldn't call him evil necessarily, but he's Not evil. But he's, he's lobotomizing people. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call that evil. No. <laughs> You're right. I forgot about the whole like. It's so subtle too. Like it's never really like directly confronted that he's like making Superman like with those chips. It's like a giant like disc, like, yeah. and you just become a Superman slave. I feel yeah. like S- Superman red son is what led to now you have like the injustice. In- exactly. Injustice. Yeah. yeah. Justice Superman. I agree. I yeah. feel like that opened the door for the injustice Superman. Yeah. Well, uh, red son walked. So injustice could fly, you know, what about <laughs> someone like Homelander? Like, do you think it like, yeah, I mean, I don't that, know about, you know, I, I get what you're saying. I would think just like for Homelander to be like, Oh, what if Superman was evil? Not necessarily like Russian. <laughs> right. Yeah. But like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I would agree. I would say Red Sun probably played a role in that too. Speaking of Homelander, just to deviate, I don't know if you guys have watched The Boys lately. But I haven't seen it, but I've heard such good things. Yeah, I haven't don't seen it any either. I'm That's watching fire, it as soon as dude. I'm watching it as soon as I get off of here. As soon episodes, as I'm done talking to your fire. ugly fucking faces. We've never done a boys episode. We should do a boys episode yeah, we when, when we all boys. watch the episodes, right? Why not? Yeah, dude. We should do a recap. It's just for the so third much season. fun and crazy. Let's do it. Yeah. That shit off the walls. And like Homelander is like the best villain. Uh, fucking let's do the boys recap episode for the for the first four previously on comics and chronic <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways but yeah it's a good it's a great show and fucking i'm loving homeland he's my favorite character on <laughs> dude uh i'm excited for the boys i'm excited for a new season of uh invincible when it comes out that's not gonna be for a long time really yeah yeah that's heartbreaking i've read it i read it they were like they haven't even started working on it well, really? That sucks. Yeah. Well, I'd rather die than hear that news. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just never heard that, you know? <laughs> I'd rather die than hear that news. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> 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 no, what I thought was really fucked up. Lex Luthor in this one. So at the end, like, he beat Superman by writing down one sentence. A little bit earlier, towards the end of the comic, Lex Luthor get, goes to Superman's lair. Brainiac has been working with Superman, actually. So you skipped, like. I know. I'm going too far oh, ahead. Okay. I guess. So, okay. No, so, I mean, we don't have to stay in order. You just talk about what you want to talk about, Bubby. Because <laughs> the thing about this book is that it's three issues, and there's a time jump between every issue, a kind of a significant time jump. So he become he's much older, like in the second issue and then in the third issue. Um, but I guess what I was going to say, no, because of what you said, Cody. Uh, so Lex Luthor goes to Brainiac and Superman's fortress. There's the Fortress of Solitude. Yeah. And Lex Luthor is about to say something to Superman and Brainiac stops him. And he's like, no, Lex Luthor in 14 minutes could convince you to commit suicide just by talking to you. <laughs> I'm like, what? But then that plays a very major role in the end of the story because Lex Luthor does everything to stop Superman, but his ultimate plan is to just have Superman read one sentence that he left written on a piece of paper in Lois Lane's pocket. And the sentence is, why don't you just put the whole world in a bottle, Superman? Um, And it like makes Superman break down and cry and like realize everything he was doing was completely wrong because... The implication there is Brainiac puts Brainiac does that, yeah. cities in bottles. He puts Stalingrad. Also, but that's Lex Luthor's fault. So Lex Luthor's like the hero in the end because Brainiac's the ultimate evil, but it's Lex Luthor who brought Brainiac to Earth to try to beat Superman. But was yeah. it Lex Luthor's intent? Like, I'm, I'm, you know, might be reading into it, of course, but you might be able to interpret it like 
because Lex Luthor is so smart, you're right. He did bring Brainiac there. So he needed the world to see an alien outside threat that Lex Luthor <laughs> could take down and thus get behind him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Lex Luthor is never actually the true hero. Even in Justice with Alex Ross, Lex Luthor fucks Brainiac over. Like, he's just a... Right. Scumbag. Yeah, just an ultimate, he like, he will backstab you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lex Luthor's never... He's, like, always the leader of, like, a group, but always the first to be, like... He's, like, motherfucking Jack Nicholson in The Departed. Like, he'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. Do, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> to, to watch out for number one. Dude, I would love to see... Jack Nicholson's depiction of Frank Costello and the departed as Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Who would you guys cast? Because honestly, I think casting Lex Luthor is hard because every actor that does it kind of sucks. I mean, if you like the classic one with Gene Hackman, but it's so Gene campy. Hackman. Yeah, it's very campy. I honestly like. I'll say Smallville's Lex Luthor was always cool in my book. Uh, oh, that, that guy wasn't too bad. He wasn't yeah. that bad, honestly. Okay, so what age Luther are we going? Okay, I'm gonna be real honest, and I'm going half off animated Superman Billy Zane as Lex Luthor. I could see that. I could see that. Like, the, but, like who's Billy Zane? You from uh, Titanic? From Titanic? From, Phantom, from the oh, Phantom? Really? Right? Is that the, the bald movie? guy? He's bald, Billy Zane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if I just saw a picture of him, you know who he is. He was actually in the second episode of The Boys, which is hilarious. But uh, yeah, he's a bald actor, so he looks. And he's like, old. Uh, Lex Luthor should be old. He was always. He was never like supposed to be that crazy young. In my mind, I always pictured uh, Lex Luthor like mid fifties, mid forties, or not Jesse Eisenberg. Young, definitely Ed. not Jesse. Eisenberg. No, no. <laughs> literally anyone else. <laughs> literally, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Like, I agree with you, Jake. Like, I haven't seen like the definitive Lex Luthor. Like, exactly. I, Henry like, Cavill. I I do hope like he's he comes back as Superman in some capacity. Like, I don't care so if it's too. a different quote unquote Superman, but it's still him. You know, like I. W- but I also want a Lex Luthor that I'm like, yeah, that's like they got it right. You know, like sometimes there's home runs. Obviously, Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark. That's going to be the best. You know, actor Jared Leto, Joker. Oh yeah, Jared Leto, Morbius. <laughs> yo, dude, yo, Morbius. Um, all right, I've got one. Okay, who do you think should play live action Lex Luthor? Jared Leto. Oh god, I'll kill no, you. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> never. I, that, please, redacted, redacted, redacted. <laughs> Cap. Strike that, from, strike that from the record. Yeah, no, yeah, that can't be struck. That's yeah, we're that's holding blood. you accountable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, who would you cast? Dude, I'm gonna fuck y'all up with something. Oh, shit. Marshall Ali. I knew you know what's interesting? I thought like Ooh. about that before, like I like five minutes ago. I was maybe Marshall Ali would be a good Lex Luthor. I kinda I'm down with that, honestly. I like that. I don't I think like Lex that. Luthor needs to be like one race or another. He can. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Just get a good actor to play. But yeah, I love yeah. that. Herschel Ali is Lex Luthor. I like that a lot, actually. Is it yeah. wrong to say Vincent D'Onofrio? I would like to see him just like I, a little I bit. I just want to see like just because one he's scene. a big bald actor. He can't play yeah. every character. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't care. care. I don't care. Herschel Ali about way better than. Wait a minute. Better. Didn't you say what's his name? <laughs> I, I always forget this dude's name who we cast as everybody. Stephen uh, Lang. Stephen Lang. Stephen Lang is like Stephen Lang is like Stephen Lang. Oh no! Another person we always cast, but I really think would actually be the best Lex Luthor. Here we go, okay. Paul Giamatti as Lex Luthor. Ooh. That's insane. I kind Come of on. like that. Right? It would be- <laughs> no, yes. Lex Luthor's also physically intimidating. That's true. In- he was the rhino, dude. The most <laughs> physically intimidating. <laughs> 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 I agree. I agree with Cody. He, he, yeah, Lex Luthor is always like he's pretty built and fit and stacked. Yeah, he's pretty stacked. And then you got to remember, like in certain iterations, he always wears his little mech suit that he uses to fight Superman. Yeah. So I'd imagine like a rhino we, suit. <laughs> <laughs> One point to end. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you think James Gandolfini could have been a good Lex Luthor? <laughs> no. I don't. I don't picture no. Lex Luthor oh, fat, no. to be honest. No, yeah, James Gandolfini would be a better 
Rhino. They would have had the MCU. They would have given <laughs> Rhino. They, yeah. they would have given him the DCU. You know, uh, workout. <laughs> the John Cena Peacemaker workout. Dude, yeah. he could have been. Yeah. What? Dude, Batista honestly, as he, Lex Luthor. He would be a sick kingpin. Who I would also say. He would have said yes. Mahershala Ali as Lex Luthor. Even uh, if, depending on if we wanted to do another like older Lex Luthor, I would say even Idris Elba as Lex Luthor. I was gonna ooh, say him too. Ooh, that would be a sick yeah. like. Yeah. Idris Elba, like no homo, but Idris Elba in a suit as ball, like he and he's big. Like, he's a pretty fit motherfucker. So. Standing next, like toe to toe with like Henry Cavill Superman, they're got to be the same height. That would be know? cool, yeah. That would be and sad. and also their dialogue back and forth would be great. Le- oh, Lex Luthor sure. first and foremost needs to be able to like deliver those lines, and in a way that's like number one, he needs to actually sound smart, but yeah. sound like a complete dick asshole, like like condescending also, as fuck, but also condescending. Right. He's but like, also he's, right, right. Like he's part like the of person, it. yeah. Like you don't <laughs> want to agree with what he says, but you know he's and, right. And I don't, I don't know why, but I feel like Marshall Ali would crush that shit. Yeah, yeah man, but I'm I feel like that's you. the thing. Like I feel like he's likable. I feel like he's got to be a little bit less likable. He has a charm. I mean, the man ran for president and won. <laughs> 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 so yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know? People give their lives for Lex Luthor. Yeah, that's true. The yeah. Red. That's true. Yeah. How many people came out for Donald Trump? Like if Lex Luthor was real, a lot of America would vote for him. Yeah. They actually say at the end of the comic <laughs> that Lex Luthor wins he he wins the presidency at first and then he wins it again with a hundred and one percent of the vote. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> classic Lex Luthor. Classic Luther. But then because yeah. of Luther, Earth basically becomes the next Krypton. Well, yeah. So I also like like how Luther is depicted in some iterations as like he like does what's best for the planet, like mathematically speaking. Right. Like he's almost still kind with- of Thanos like. He's like, yeah. well, let's see if we had this amount of population missing from these areas, it would cut down on the carbon input. You know what I mean? Like and then, like, but once you like did, got through the math, you'd be like, "Lex, you're talking about like murder." And he's like, "Yes, precisely." And then, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, like he's whatever a good villain. Takes. Like, he's he's almost a good like James Bond kind of villain too. Like, Lex oh Lex. yeah, he yeah. would be a great Bond villain. Yeah, Luther who Christoph Waltz as Lex Luthor. <laughs> he's too old. Now. He is too old. Now. There's a lot of people that could definitely play Lex Luthor, but they better just, than anyone they've had. Someone yeah, needs exactly. to write. I agree with what you said, Anthony. Someone needs to write good Lex Luthor lines in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't nailed yeah, that he yet. He needs to be like, uh, just like a, like the cockiest, just because he's he like the literally biggest know it all. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he knows he's like, right. Yep. And like, he has no problem flaunting it. Right. Yeah. That's the thing. He literally advances society so far that all his descendants are the ones to keep advancing it. Like they say, one of his descendants is the first person to walk into the afterlife. Wow. Like what the fuck? Like, and then uh, it, they eventually, they are like Jor L like oh, his, yeah. his like long, yeah. the long and down the long line of his descendants. It's not really like the real Jor L, but no, but it's like his, the comic is, I like, this is my favorite thing about the comic, the ending, because the ending is like, after all this advancement w- without Superman at all, Superman's not in the picture anymore. We need we need Superman because they send their son, who turns out to be Red Son Superman, into the past to inspire hope and 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 get people to not to actually listen to science because they didn't listen to his descendant, and that's why the world is ending, much like the real Superman script on. But this is actually yeah. Earth in the future, and. The whole story is Lex Luthor trying to prove I could. We don't need Superman, and without Superman, we flourish. But it's just like you need both, I guess. You know, it's like the yin and the yang and the red sun. I always like the comics where Lex Luthor like doesn't want Superman there because we can flourish without him. He makes us lazy. Me too. Like, that makes like the best argument for Lex Luthor. It does. Yeah. Even but, if well, it's batshit insane, it does. It's not really like, if you think about it like this, like technology alone has made us like, like not as physically. Yeah. Imagine if every time I was about to get in a car wreck, I got saved. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's what they say. People stop wearing seatbelts. 
in this in this universe because they know Superman's going to save them. See, that's he. They're too dependent on Superman. And yep. that's when he, he he's just like, and that's when he die. becomes a god. And Lex Luthor, being such mm-hmm. a man of science, is almost in a way like both anti god, anti religion, anti idolatry, except for his own megalomania. Yeah, yeah. He, he wants everyone worship. to love him. Yeah, he's always yeah. everyone to love him and not Superman. Yeah, he's just a, the I ultimate am. hater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so so much of a hater that he like becomes a billionaire and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uses I like that Lex leaders. Luthor is a, a made man. You know what I mean? Like he he every he he you can't touch him. Yeah, everything he sets out to accomplish other than defeating Superman, he does, you know? Yeah, that's true. Lex Luthor is a man who pulled himself up by the bootstraps. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> uh he even like like he, it's almost like like the entire book, he's the one that's like calling the shots the entire way. You know right. what I mean? Like s- even if Superman is winning, Lex Luthor is the one that's paving the road. You know what I mean? So, do you find yourselves at the end of the at the end of the day with this comic siding with Superman in this comic or Lex Luthor? I think Lex I mean, Luthor. The- Luther, if I have to choose, it's Luther. But in reality, uh, they're both awful. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like two sides. I mean, and it's weird because we love well, Superman so between. much, but once you put him in Russian colors, we're like, "Fuck you, Superman! Go to hell!" You call me fuck. You call me bastard. <laughs> Dude, with this comic book, it's almost like saying, you know. Superman is Joe Biden and the liberal left. <laughs> 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 Donald Trump is Lex <laughs> Luthor. Oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of like the use of uh, Hal Jordan, the Green, Green <laughs> the Green Lantern Marine Corps? Yeah, no, that was that was cool. cool. I like that. I, I like how- all of the cameos, like yeah. how people translated over, even like small characters like Lana and yeah, uh, you know. Mobile Oliver game. Queen, Green Arrow, works at the yeah. Daily Planet. He kind of replaces Clark Kent. That's really quick. Yeah. And then you see in the same scene, Barry Allen's mentioned, but they're just like, oh, Barry's late. I don't know where he is. So we know that's Barry Allen. Yeah. Uh, but the Green Lantern, the whole the, the coolest thing about that is that Roswell is actually, in this universe, Abin Sir crashing to Earth. And the U.S. government, by the way, John F. Uh, John F. Kennedy's president and Richard Nixon in this universe got assassinated. Oh yeah. shit! So a lot of yeah. good things about this universe, you know. Nah. <laughs> Fuck Richard Nixon. He started the war on drugs. He was just a racist old bastard. Dude, the war on drugs sure. is massively successful, dog. There's so- <laughs> 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 wait, what did you say? The war on drugs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, I can can the host of comics and chronic (laughs) i can safely walk out my door knowing that crime is almost null and void (laughs) it's non-existent thanks to richard nixon wow richard nixon supporter here drugs are not cool so (laughs) (laughs) therefore we must go to war with anyone who does drugs is lame yeah yeah i would agree i mean yeah, I would agree. Oh, you agree. Welcome. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Good. I agree. Do you guys think you'll ever be sober in life? <laughs> <laughs> Cody, let me, can I yeah. respond to that with another question? Will life ever be good? <laughs> 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 Yo. If it if it will be, then I'll celebrate by not being sober anyway. So, <laughs> so I mean, my as long as it's a health, it has to be a healthy sober. You know, you gotta. Here's sober. my plan. It's awesome. Is to <laughs> never be sober. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's your plan. <laughs> All right, I'm to play. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be like, but I'm just saying, like, I don't plan on never like taking, going for sobriety. I'm st- I'm toughing. I'm sticking out, being an old party dog for the long haul. You know. 
It's an old party dog. An old party dog. God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a dog I want to put down eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and you will. One day, it'll, the time will come, dude. The time will come. We'll all band together we're like, Cody's, it's time. <laughs> yeah, dude, and you could all just like collectively hold a pillow over me. No, I was thinking yeah. more Goodfellas style when uh, take me out to a field, <laughs> put Joe, me on my knee. When, no, like when Joe Pesci character gets killed, Tommy, he thinks he's gonna yeah. get made. Be like, oh, there's a party tonight. No. There's a big house party. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, dude. And then, like, <laughs> and then show you, up. you, you yeah. show up and you like notice no one's there. You're like, oh, first one here. And then, <laughs> yeah, and we put you down. Damn. Oh, See, yeah. I was I was thinking a completely different <laughs> scenario. I don't know if you guys ever watched like, Future. Imagining Cody's. Y- yeah, murder, no, me. <laughs> I'm imagining <laughs> there's an episode of Futurama where they make where they make a what if machine and and Bender's like, what if I was human? And he just smokes cigars all the time, drinks beers all the time, eats nachos all the time, is always dancing and partying with hookers. He's just having a great time. He's living life. And by the end of the episode, he's huge. He can't move, but he's drinking, eating nachos, smoking cigars. <laughs> and uh, the party's about to start, and he's like, woo! And they have the party, and at the end of the episode, he's just sitting there like, dead and <laughs> they're like oh no he must have died when the party started <laughs> and they're like but we all heard him say woo and they're like nope that was just the air passing through the rolls of fat in his skin and they just press it and he's like woo <laughs> so I just imagine Cody just parties forever uh, truly a samurai staff. Yeah. <laughs> a samurai staff. That's not how samurai staffs do. Samurais are that self destructive. <laughs> a true samurai staff. <laughs> That's not how Luke Skywalker went out. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, that shit. Don't even bring that shit up. That was the wackest. Don't way even bring that shit up. You yeah, said. that was the wackest way you could die. Yeah, don't die like Luke Skywalker. I don't know. Dude, I'm never gonna die. So you're like I'm, that's I'm, just I'm, a blatant lie. Until until I don't I'm know. Ready. Have you ever just seen like him Bruce do it? Willis? <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever seen Cody die? Yeah, no. like <laughs> it's not that crazy of a claim. <laughs> Dude, I've almost died so much. In, I feel like it's almost like regularly in little and if you count like little and big ways. I think it's like an yeah. annual death attempt by the forces that be. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I, last year I almost choked to death on a potato. Yep. <laughs> yeah, remember <laughs> that? <laughs> I remember. Dude, we talked about Godzilla versus insane. Kong when we talked about Cody oh, dying, nice. almost dying. <laughs> Dude, I almost die all the time. And guess what? I'm still I'm still standing, motherfucker. Still smoking. Yeah. Who would win in a fight? Me or Superman from <laughs> Superman <laughs> Red Sun? I don't know. That would be As long as you have those red sunlights, you could kick his ass, Cody. I don't know. I think Cody Cody might have a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Superman Red Sun doesn't kill anybody. He, you know, he See, sticks to that. That's that's one point for Cody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're willing to kill Superman, Cody. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if Cody is plays Lex Luthor? Yeah. <laughs> Cody, would yeah. you shave your head? No question. <laughs> no. Yo, if DC was like Cody, we're gonna get you <laughs> the best. Uh, acting coach ever, Steven Rosenfield. <laughs> 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 the goat, greatest of all time. Yes, the goat. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> he's like the watcher. We don't know if he's listening oh, to the podcast shit, or yeah. not. He's like the watcher. And Steven Rosenfield is uh, is the watcher in our universe. But if we get too big and too famous, he's gonna eventually. He's just gonna say like, the I, podcast. I, yeah, I made comics and chronic. Yeah, I'm he's gonna say comics and chronic came to ACI last year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were. 
<laughs> we did. Uh, we went to ACI. We can't. We got to give it to them, and he swindled us. <laughs> yeah, that wily bastard, dude. I mean, and, and, but like, maybe that was his way of it. Like, he can't do anything to st- change the future, and we're right. doomed. Is he like the Lex but, Luthor of this? No, no. I'm saying, <laughs> oh, I'm saying, like, he yeah. can't do anything to intervene in like fate. But he knows we can change the course of fate, so he brought us together. Oh shit! To cast him as Lex Luthor, oh, <laughs> nice. dude. He's too frail. He was frail then. I can't imagine what he looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He probably looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, we can take he's, him, dude. We can take him. We could have taken him, him, him there too. <laughs> We were in our twenties. He was a <laughs> decrepit. Yeah, he was an old soft man. We? Yeah, why didn't we throw him out that building? <laughs> we could have <laughs> ran that comedy school. We could have. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> throw, we're talking about throwing an old teacher out a window. <laughs> also, wasn't he on like the fiftieth floor? Also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to uh, warning brutal content (laughs) Anthony edit that to the beginning of the episode warning brutal content (laughs) beating an old man and throwing him off the building (laughs) (laughs) would you throw an old man off a building if he if he took seven thousand dollars yes of course I would (laughs) <laughs> Cast your votes uh, now by texting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comment on our Instagram. Let us know. <laughs> we haven't talked about Superman Red Side at all. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, we're fantasizing about killing an old man. <laughs> No, but that's the way that's the way Soviet Russia operated, right? You had Stalin and then his son. You were, mm. Did you notice in the comic? His son is the one who poisons him. Yeah, he's like guilt ridden. Yeah. He's about to kill t- about to kill himself. And Superman stops, stops him from killing himself. What is it again? Like his bomb blows up Bruce's parents or something? He yeah. shoot. Yeah, he kills Bruce's he parents. Kills Bruce's Bruce's parents. parents. To, he shoots them. them. Yeah, to um. blame. Soups. Yeah, it's a you know Batman becomes like a fucking like Soviet terrorist. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Mad freedom Man. fighter just becomes a freedom fighter. Dude, he he's a freedom like fighter. The, yeah, the Batman. Yeah, the Batman. I like how, yeah. You hear about the Batman. The, yeah, yeah. They come afterwards as like a tribute. Yeah, you're or right. After, yeah, it's like little rebels. Yeah, I know we say this about other comics, and I, I don't know. You'll probably still say the same thing, but this was a comic where I would kind of like to see a little bit more of this world fleshed out. You know, I would like to yeah. see what the Batman were doing. Even if it's something small, not like a whole big deal. No, Cody shaking his head. Oh, Cody with an adamant no. I'd rather die. Cody, <laughs> that's like the second time you said. That. Yeah, you okay, man? Hey, you right there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got something, got something you want to tell us? <laughs> party till I die. <tonight. laughs> um, no, I just think it's per. I, honestly, I think this comic book is a perfect standalone. I don't, I don't care. It you know is what pretty I mean? perfect. If you, yeah. you want to see this universe fleshed out, read Injustice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, Injustice Superman is a bit more crazy. This Superman, it's like, like you could also even say Brainiac was controlling him because Brainiac does reveal at the end he's like, I was actually control not like mind control but steering superman in such a way that manipulating him and like pushing him in the direction that he wanted him to go yeah Yeah. exactly like actually going in his brain like right but nonetheless superman still was like okay with people having those superman discs that made you his slave he was okay with things sliding he but he would still argue and i guess you could argue that it was still better than stalin's russia but at least in the context of this story if this movie was made in the eighties, you could get Dolph Lundgren and Dias Hairblack and have him play oh, Soviet Superman. Superman. Yeah. yeah, hell yes, without a doubt. 
Or Arnold even. Oh, you're right. Arnold, Arnold as <laughs> Red Sun Superman. We know where you're photoshopping now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, have, doing it right after like his Conan run or something. Yeah. <laughs> and Sean Connery as Lex Luthor then. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery. Dude, I, I, could get, I could fuck with that, honestly. Sean Connery's great. Rest in peace. He's an extraordinary gentleman. Uh, he's so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's such a bad movie. It's such a terrible movie. It's so it's like, bad. I said it such as well a, as possible. It's like a, such a such a cool idea executed in the worst way possible. That was back in the day when they would be like they were slapping the name of comic book movies onto movies, but really not doing it. Yeah, any sort like being yeah. anything like yeah. you know what I mean. The source yep. material. Yeah. The early aughts. Yeah. I was going to say another thing in this comic, Jimmy Olsen is once again like a secret agent. He eventually becomes the head of the CIA. And then vice president. Yeah. What's with making Jimmy Olsen like this like badass dude that's like not who he is. He's just Jimmy fucking Olsen. Like he's just a geeky like. Dude, what if he was planted by the CIA at the planet, you know? What if uh, what, <laughs> what if they Jimmy know o- Clark Kent is Superman and they put Jimmy Olsen there so as to gather into this him? whole time? What if Jimmy Olsen is actually the mastermind, a la that Jar Jar Binks conspiracy? <laughs> that means, that uh, conspiracy theory does not hold up whatsoever. No, I don't agree with it. That holds either. up. He it does. is for, a Sith Lord, but but it makes sense for more sense for Jimmy Olsen than it does. Jar-Jar. I agree, actually. Right. Because Jar Jar Binks, man, there's a lot of evidence to back it up. I've seen two YouTube videos to back me up on this, guys. How many YouTube videos have you watched? That is the same. (laughs) That that conspiracy is Star Wars' Mephisto. I just scared myself. (laughs) 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 Oh. <laughs> um, so, um, <laughs> I just got really scared, there. <laughs> dude. It was honestly comical how <laughs> terrified you were. I was for a minute afraid for you. Yeah, I was like, Is there someone <laughs> there? Yeah. I don't. Someone uh, was some here. Reason, was like gonna kill me. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was like an animal. For some reason, <laughs> just the way you were looking down. Yeah, that it was gonna be like a, sn- a rat. Oh. <laughs> Randy made his way to LA. <laughs> He's there to assassinate Jake. <laughs> For me. Oh. Fuck you, Randy and Cody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was really fucked up in this comic when Wonder Woman. So Batman uses Wonder Woman as bait basically to get Superman to come fight him. Yeah. When he, he yeah. where's that? That's a cool Superman versus Batman fight scene, by the way. Like it's, it's believable. Well. I like the way I like the way it goes. Batman suicide bombs himself at the end. Hell like, yeah, dude! This. What a fucking <laughs> <what a laughs> <bad> man, <laughs> yeah, dude! Fuck that! <laughs> fucking that was dope. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll always remember. Yeah, Batman blew himself up. Yeah, dude. Cool. True <laughs> suicide bombers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. Yeah. I That's love that. That's that Frank Miller nine eleven influence right there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> It's the long dark reach of Frank Miller. <laughs> yeah, the long dark reach. <laughs> no, it did feel like dark night ish. It did, it, but it did really feel like it could fit in that universe somehow. You know what I mean? It had that. It had that reach for sure. <laughs> you know, I, it's a long dark reach of Frank Miller. <laughs> <laughs> master puppeteer himself <laughs> Frank, <that's awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> but no that whole part Batman like ties up Wonder Woman with the lasso of truth and sh- she has to break it in order to help Superman but when she breaks it like her hair turns white it's like she becomes old or something like she loses she's like something's wrong she feels like something snapped inside of her it's crazy it's such a like a fucked up moment she's just like not really Wonder Woman after that yeah. Well, she was madly in love with him yes. and he shows no remorse. I mean, he doesn't even know that he's she's in love with him. He's just like, "All right, comrade." You know what I mean? Like Right. He is Which is true. just as obsessive as Lex Lex Luthor is. Like he ignores everything including his wife Lois. So they're they're both the same. Yep. They are. Even at the end Superman when Superman is throwing 
uh, what is it? The bomb? There's like a giant. Oh no! Brainiac ship is about to explode, ship. and he has yeah. to like fly it out into the depths of space and presumably die, but definitely doesn't. He's like, he's pretty much like Lex, you old bastard. <laughs> like you did it again, you crazy like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, all right, like I guess they're friends in his mind. Like he really is a psycho. It's almost like they're like Lex Luthor and Superman are like the Batman and Joker as far as like neither of them ever successfully defeat one another. Yeah. It's like they, they're they playing chess in this story, but like even in that aspect, they're always playing chess. Like they're just trying to like one up each other. Dude, also as another influence to Injustice, the whole Wonder Woman being in love with Superman shit. That's totally from Red Sun. Yeah. Um, was, yes. Was it like that in Kingdom Come too? Kingdom Come come before this? I don't know. No, it when wasn't. They, Wonder Woman and, and, and Superman are platonic in Kingdom Come. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty sure. I don't remember. I don't remember them being romantically linked in Kingdom Come. I don't remember anything. <laughs> we should actually read Kingdom Come, honestly. We should do that. Yeah, yeah that, we, should, we should do Kingdom an episode come on that for a, sure. And a Justice episode. Justice is personally yes. my favorite. No, those are two big ones we've always talked about doing. Like it's almost we like we're saving them for a rainy day, but we should do. Dude, them. I have the giant, definitive, like leather bound, absolute justice and edition. Nice, it's just huge. I'm just like, ah, I love. Oh, it. I awesome. might have that one because you told me to get it, so I might have that one. Absolute justice is what it's called. Yeah, yeah, I think I have that one. Dude, it's fucking sick. Or no, it's not absolute. I think it's just deluxe. I have absolute uh, kingdom come though. Okay, so they also did absolute justice. That's the one I have. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they make that anymore, so that's probably a cool one to have. All right, so... How many Joe Pesci's we given? Red Sun. Ooh. I'm going to say six straight up, dog. I like Red Sun a lot. Easy six. I've read yeah. it multiple times. I thought I thought about giving it a lower score, but I was like, you know what? This is a great Superman story. Great, great Mark Miller story. Great standalone. Like it's like- because yeah, everyone just, knows Superman story, whether you read a Superman comic or not. So this is a good standalone because, like you said, it's just a what if he yeah. landed in Soviet Russia. Flips the script. Yeah, well, like we've done a lot of we've done a lot of episodes recently. Like we did Old Man Logan, Marvel sixteen oh two, where it does that, where it's like it takes familiar things and then it's like, ooh, this is different. You know, I like this. It was a six. I think so it was an easy. Yeah, it's a six. Giving it's, it a six. It's a six. I think this was actually the first like Elseworlds story I read because it was so interesting to me. I'm like, what? They made Superman. And actually, I would say this comic, the ending of it is one of my favorite endings of any comic. I just love the way it, it's wow. so circular and cyclical. You know, I just love Ooh, it's a great circular comic. Circular and cyclical. Dude, we're busting circular out all kinds cyclical. Of- <laughs> 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 That's supple, circular, cyclical. <laughs> supple. <laughs> <laughs> that supple yeah, Superman dude. red sun. <laughs> Ooh, hey, hey, I just, I just want to say to all the commies, you're welcome. This episode was a banger. <laughs> yeah. it, was a banger. <laughs> it was a banger. You guys should read. Uh, yeah, you guys should read it. Of course, yeah, read this book. It's honestly, I would put it in the top, probably the top ten we've recommended of all of them. Mm. I think it's also the, yeah. one of the first solo Dello Superman comics we've done, right? No, we did All Star Superman. All Star, and Back this doesn't. Tr- all Star Superman is better than this, in my opinion. They're both great, but I would favor All Star Superman. All Star Superman's a completely different animal. Yeah, is better. It's also way, it's so more like it's so more complex and in depth. Than Red Sun. Yeah. yeah. All Star is way better, but it's also different. It's like the definitive Superman story, you know? Yeah. By the way, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I always keep forgetting, but I want to shout out Collector Cave. It's a comic Ooh. shop I go to all the time. It's in the Bronx. They're also in Yonkers. They got two places. Hey, it's legit. They have a website too. Yonkers. Yonkers. <laughs> Check out their website too. You don't even have to live in New York to buy stuff. They ship, I guess, everywhere. Go to CollectorCave.com. CollectorCave.com. Look them up. You use promo code. No, there's no (laughs) promo code. This is is literally just me being like, I love Collector Cave. I go there all the time. They always have good stuff. They're good people. Check them out. You could probably find Comics and Chronic stickers there. (laughs) If they want, if you. Again, go to collect <laughs> That's their motto. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they told you. Yeah. <laughs> you leave with comics, but you go to suck their dick. 
Yeah. <laughs> Collector cave. Collector cave. I'm sure they're going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we won't get advertising. <laughs> this is why more people will want our advertising. <laughs> hey, that's true, dude. I feel like yeah. we, we would be great at advertising. Oh, yeah, dude. Because we would just go crazy with it. Yeah, we would. <laughs> And you would get more customers and yeah. you would give us money because we'd no. make no money doing this. We do this for the love of the game. Sponsored by Bounty Paper Towels for when we took it. Wilted Picker Quicker Upper. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only paper towel I use when I make multiple females squirt all over my room. <laughs> It gets it gets all the moisture up. Ninety nine point nine percent of squirt juices are sucked up by quilted quicker picker upper. So go hit up our boys at Bounty. <laughs> go to Collector Cave. Go to Collector Cave. <laughs> so when I do that, I just use my hair to sop it up like a mop. <laughs> But it, it's not advertising anything. Yeah, Cody. what bounty's gonna pull us now, man? It's advertising a good time. You know what he uses when he washes his hair afterwards? Head and shoulders. I, I don't wash it. I just smell it. Ooh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you smell like a rat's nest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> and forget about rat nests and go to a collector cave. <laughs> no, you, where you can buy a mop shaped like my hair. Oh, dude, that's what we need to do. On sale now. <laughs> that's going to be our comics yeah. and chronic merch. That's our merch. A mop, a mop like mop my hair. shaped like Cody's hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I try to I try to like set up a merch page and then r- the website Redbubble was like you've been banned, don't try to make an account again. Goodbye. Uh, Pretty much. It's kind of like harsh wording. I'm like, damn, like what if they I don't know. personally wrote it to you and it wasn't an automated message? <laughs> yeah, they're just like, fuck yeah. this guy. Like, fuck Mr. You, dude. From Mr. Redbubble himself. Wait, what Mr. if I... Mr. Redbubble. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what if I try and make an account? Will they shadow ban me? Or no, me? they won't do shadow ban. No, they won't do anything like that. <laughs> but like, if you try to make like, a comic and chronic you account... Is, I, exactly not shadow ban. Yeah, they're yeah, like, definitely. you are fucking straight up banned. Nice. <laughs> so, uh... Whoopsie, I'll figure something out. Yeah. Anyway, go to comicsandchronic.com. <laughs> uh, use Cody's hair to mop up squirt juice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we love you guys. Collector Cave. Yeah. Oh, oh, go to actually, Collector Cave. Yeah. Go to Apple Podcasts and give us five stars or Spotify and give us five stars. Yeah, or, oh, dude, it really helps people. It really does. Yeah, it really does. And we respect the people comedies who are telling their friends. That. Listen yeah, to dude, this honestly, comedy. we're so grateful for y'all. Uh, I actually met a couple nice. recently. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we might, we might joke near Huntington. And, and shit on them, but in reality, we love them. Yeah, we they're, love they're all the, the They're the reason we keep going. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, and when in you guys life. reach out, it's awesome. Without you guys, I would kill myself. Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> Do you listen to Cody at all this episode? <laughs> the third he's, time he said that. two minutes away from blowing his brains out. <laughs> it's just you guys that Matter are keeping fact, me going. If he doesn't get Cubbies. 50 new Instagram followers in the next two weeks, he will kill himself. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but also follow us on Spotify. Yeah. Before, yeah. <laughs> before you do that, before before that, also click on follow because following is cool and five stars is cool. Whatever many and stars, you seem I don't like guys who want to be cool. So yeah, only cool people do the things we're talking about. If you don't do them, whatever, you're not cool. Go fuck yourself. We get it. You don't want to be cool. You don't, don't give have us to be. any stars. Yeah, you don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, <Cody. laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And don't All say right, guys, we didn't well, talk about Red Sun enough this episode. We talked about it enough and as much as we needed yeah, to. Why don't you, why, yeah, why don't you douchebags go and read it and then come talk to us? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do what you tell us to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, just because we pick the topic of the episode doesn't mean we have to cover it at all. Don't expect us. <laughs> we have maybe like a three minute minimum for talking about topics that we choose. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And if you don't yeah. know who Steven Rosenfield is, well, you need to look his name up. You need to look at image <laughs> search. You need to get into your head who he is because Find we're going to keep him. 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 <laughs> him out of a fucking building. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you guys do that, we will give you free merch. <laughs> 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 
don't think we can say that. <laughs> Uh, no, we can't you. talk about murdering a person. Definitely, yeah, definitely don't throw him out of the building, you guys. <laughs> Maybe get him no. close to the edge, so where he's like, oh, uh, he's like really worried. He's teetering. Yeah, use it. Use it. Have him hooked to a Mr. grappling Magoo. hook, like Batman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just just intimidate him and then pull him back up and be like, hey. Cody sends his regards. <laughs> <laughs> Cody Cannon. <laughs> Anthony says hello. <laughs> Anyways, if you if you really Dude. love us, you'll throw an old man off. Dude, <laughs> Dude we'll have one of those like uh <laughs> scenes in a mobster movie where we're like just hitting our old ACI professors. <laughs> okay, basically the scene in Goodfellas where they kill Philly Atardo. <laughs> but it's Steven Rosenfeld. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna have to edit a lot of that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but tune in anyways. We love you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. We're sorry that we're unhinged this episode. It's it's Friday night. Jake's <laughs> fault. It's Friday night. It's Jake's fault. <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace.